Hello and welcome back to the Blender Basics video series. Today's video is going to focus on ray tracing. So if you don't have a copy of the book, head on over to www.cdschools.org slash Blender Basics for a copy of it. To start out, I have a scene that is just uh, real basic with a plane in here to represent a ground, an extruded glass, a monkey head that has been um, set to smooth with a uh, subdivision surface on it and looking pretty nice here. Okay, so the plane does already have a material on it. If I went to my material settings, you'll see that I've put a texture on it. And if I render a picture, um, you're going to see that the uh, rendering has a texture that has a little bit of normal on it. So it has a little roughness to it, but no reflection, no transparency on anything yet. We do have a little bit of a shadow from one of our lamps. So if we escape out of this, First thing I want to talk about is like um, how do you handle ray shadowing on a lamp. So when a lamp is selected right now, you can actually have them any of them cast a shadow by turning on ray shadow in the lamp settings. Uh, I have three lamps in the scene. Two of them are really just casting background lighting, and they're not actually set to show shadows. So that's how you handle out the ray shadow with lights um, to make that work. The ground, what I want to do is put a little bit of a mirror reflection on the floor to get started. So ray tracing is actually really easy in the internal render engine. It is by default already turned on in the cycles render engine. But how you handle it in the classic render engine is to go to your material settings, put on your material, and if you scroll down, you'll see two panels down here. One for transparency and one for mirror. And if I open up both of those panels, you'll see that the settings you have in here, um, a good bit of setting setting work that you can do. So if I turn on mirror on the floor, and right now I have a reflectivity you know, depth setting that works out pretty good. Um, frontal settings also give you some different effects. I'm just going to really just bring up the reflection a little bit. And I'll render a new picture and we'll see what the reflection now looks like on the floor. Now you have to be careful with reflection because the higher you take the reflectivity, the less you'll see your diffuse color and any texture that you have. Um, and that will give me a little bit of reflection on the floor right now. You can see a little bit of around the monkey head. And if I just take that reflection up even higher. You'll, um, you'll see the effects of it actually get more reflective. And you'll see it in these panels now that um, are now just rendering after I took the reflection up. You see more of the sky, the blue sky actually reflecting off of it and more in the background in here. Now the higher you take some of these settings, the more that uh, the more time it'll take to render your images because um, there's a lot more that the computer has to calculate. Okay, so we took care of that. The first thing I want to do is let's just say, let's make this monkey head be a chrome monkey head. Okay, so we'll escape out of that render. And we'll select the monkey head right now. And I do not even have a material on the monkey head yet. So we're gonna hit new. And we're gonna scroll down here to the mirror panel. I'm just going to take mirror, turn it on, take reflectivity all the way up to 1, which means completely reflective. Even if you look at the sample, you'll see that. So when I render another picture here, you're going to see that the monkey head will reflect everything. It'll reflect the blue sky that I have set in my world. And you'll see the reflection of everything that's around it as well. So mirror is really nice. You can give it a little bit of mirror or a lot of mirror. It's all interesting in how you change those settings. What I'd like to do with the glass right now is actually select the glass while that's still rendering and we'll put a material on the glass what I'd like to do is make that be a reflective glass with a little distortion so you have more settings with the mirror um, the first thing that I, or I'm sorry with transparency first thing I could do is just turn on transparency and you'll see that you have two transparency options Z transparent and ray trace all Z transparent will give you is by taking your alpha down, you'll just be able to be able to see through and it'll be look it'll look like a ghosted image. The alpha setting is or the Z transparent is actually the original transparency that you had in Blender before they introduced ray tracing. Um, it was great for window glass, but not for showing distortion. To actually show ray tracing, we'll turn on ray tracing right now. And if I can kind of go back up here, I'll maybe close my shading panel and my specular setting just so I can see my transparency settings along with my sample and if I take the frontal up um, the frontal is going to give you some nice transparency settings and still see like an edge on it so this one handles transparency really well so if I hit F12 to render another picture with that 
you'll see this example, but it won't be distorted. You won't really be able to see through the glass. In fact, you may not even be able to see completely through the glass because I'm trying to look through four surfaces right now. So I have the inner and the outer walls of this glass as it comes up, and you're starting to see it here, um, where you can't even see all the way through it. What I need to do is take the depth setting up, maybe to the three or four, and now you'll notice that you'll be able to see all the way through that glass as it renders. And again, as I add more of these features, you're going to see things slow down a little bit. So the depth setting needed to go up so I could see through all of those various layers for things. The IOR stands for Index of Refraction. This is what simulates your distortion. So if I start taking Index of Refraction up, you're going to see my little sample here changing its distorted pattern a bit along with everything else. Um, we'll just escape out of that render here. And let's see, now you'll see my distortion going up there. I'm going to take the ground plane. I'm going to take that mirror down a little bit so it's not quite so reflective. I don't like the way that looks. Alright, now we'll select the glass again. And I've given a little bit of index of refraction, the IOR. So let's render another picture and see what that's going to look like. Basically what you're going to get with IOR is you're going to get the distortion that you see by looking through a mirror or some other type of glass. Um, and that will also animate as well. So uh, it's coming up here once we get past the monkey head. And I apologize for my computer running a little slow today. I am on the district school network. So that does affect a lot of what we try to do. And you're now starting to see the distortion going through the drinking glass over here. And it's rendering more pictures out. So as that comes up, you're going to see as you can kind of continue to play around with some of those settings, you can get a really, really nice effect out of it. And I want to again thank you for watching.